Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel, Leela Web Dev. So we are, we have did this all the things, right? Like next, previous, and all those things is working fine. According to the expected, we are working fine. I want to tell you one important thing that is nothing but uh, if you try to see here in our code. So whenever I am trying to refresh this page, so we are able to see here download the reactive dev tools for the dev, better development experience is saying. So let's try to click on this link. What is this one? So this uh, provides us a react developer tools so in, the, in the react JS website. You'll be able to see this react developer tools and using this react developer tools. It will be able to inspect the react components and we can edit the props and states. So and identify the performance problems also we can see. So here the easiest way to install is the for the Chrome for Firefox and Edge for three of the main browsers. They have given the extension for this one. So as now we are using the Chrome, let's click on the Chrome and here you will be able to see the extensions thing. So here it will ask you to install. So here when you click on this add to Chrome, automatically this will be added to your Chrome. So here it will be asking you the add extension. If it is already installed in your system and you are not able to uh, see this one means so then you need to enable this one. So here that has been added. Now if I refresh this page, let's try to see. So here now the message has gone so that means react developer tools is there in our system then you will be able to see two options like components and also the profiler okay so we'll try to see about this profiler afterwards first components let's try to see the components and here if i open the inspect element again maybe some problem is there i think so if i try to open the inspect element again yeah here this is our components and here right now we have only one component that is an app component so here you'll be able to see this app component now for this app component we are able to see the props so right now we don't have any props that we are not sending any props to this app so that is the reason there are no props and here we are having the state data that is nothing but two state data is there first one is the step and another one is the is open so these are the two steps which you are having these are called as in state data piece of state data or state data and these are created using the use state hook now if you want to change it means so here you can uh, change automatically so here if i try to change it to step two means you can change it here now here automatically the two steps will be highlighted so this will be very useful for us when we are trying to debug the code or what is the current state of this one whenever, whenever any application the large application if you want to check it so this one will be very much useful if i try to make it false here automatically so this one will go away and if I try to make it true, so we can do it. So like this, we can change the state through the upfront so that we can see the action, how this one is doing on, how this, how the project, how the application is behaving with the state. So this is one step which I want to tell you. So this react developer tools is one of the important concept, which I want to tell you. So we understood about the react developer tools before closing of this one. I want to tell you another concept also. So right now here we are using step set step two step plus one, right? Now, if you, if you, for example, let's say that if you are using set, set step, step plus one. So let's let, let me make this one smaller. Yeah, I have made this one smaller. Now, if you see here, so here we are able to see next step and send. Now here we are updating the state data. There is nothing but the step is the state data. We are updating the state data based on the current step. So based on the current state. So now whenever, whenever you are trying to do it, for example, let's say that we are using set step of step plus one. So right now it is in one, right? So I will try to do set step of again. I will do step plus one. Okay. So this is the next step. So again, I am doing step plus one. So that means whenever, whenever I click on this one, so what could be the step automatically it needs to jump to the three instead of two. So this is the expected behavior. Why? Because we are jumping from set step. So first one is one. So one plus one, two, and again, the step will be two, two plus one, three. So that means the step value should be three. Now, when I click on the next, it will be still two only. Okay. Here also you'll be able to see it is still two only. So here, whenever you are trying to, so this one is an asynchronous operation. So whenever you are trying to update this data, so the state will not update immediately. Okay. So now here, what we need to do. So whenever you are trying to work with this state data which you want to update it with the current state means so then you need to use something like here a callback function so there where you will be able to get the state okay or otherwise the step data and here you can use something like state plus one so anything whatever the name you want you can mention it so here you can mention it as s 
and s plus one or you can mention it as a step also not a problem but this and this will will become equal so we will get confused so you can use it like this also now here you can use the same thing here also so nothing will happen now if you try to see the update so if you try to refresh this page and if i click on this one see this time it has jumped directly to the three and here also whenever you are updating the same thing with the current value right so now we need to update the same thing with using the step and here you can write step minus one so here we need to use the step minus one so now when this is how we will be using so from now onwards we will try to implement this type of behavior only this is the best practice we need to do it so that one also works but you will be having the i have shown you the downgrade of that one right so we cannot expect the system behavior how it will behave it so like this we'll be using and we have an another place also where we are using is open here also we are using so here also i can use something like whatever the name you want you can do it and here i can do not of s yeah that's it now if you see the output for this one so what happened in this one so we are having two i think yeah so now if i close it and if i open it so everything is working fine so right now we are using the best practice in this one so this is the thing which i want to tell you the state data whenever you are trying to update the state data using the current state means then you need to use a callback function like this where you will be getting the current value of that one so that you can increment it and you can return it and another one is the react developer tools which we have learned it so if you want to install it means always in the console you will be able to see this message so you can click on that thing it will redirect you to the message thing whatever the browser you're using whether it may be a chrome firefox or edge you can install the thing if you can install it in the extension thing that's it guys about this concept what i will do is i will commit this code in a new branch video iphone 21 video iphone 21 and i will commit this code current state current state and here let's commit this all the code let's commit publish this branch also so now this that's it that's it this uh, this is all about the concept so now you whenever you have a doubt or anything as usual you know so i have committed in this one the description the github repository link will be provided in the description below of every video so whatever the code you may be having doubt you can go to that particular branch of that video and you can refer the code so that's it guys so hope you understood about this react developer tools and also the state concept how we need to use the state if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you